The HDR Compander effect is found under the Utility category, and this is going to need an actual HDR source to work with. So my project is set to 32 bits per channel, and I'm working with an HDRI environment map that I got from HDRI Haven that actually is in 32 bits per channel and has lots of luminance value assigned to the pixel brightness values that gives us way more fidelity in our image than a standard 8-bit JPEG would. So if I just grab my exposure of my comp here and turn it down, you can see that the sun becomes more and more clear. There's lots of details there that get blown out at normal exposure. Same thing for the shadows in here. If I zoom into this shady area on the trail and brighten it up, we get a lot of detail in those shadows because of the way that this photo was produced. So working with an HDRI image like this is great, but not all effects in After Effects support 32-bit per channel workflows. And the HDR Compander effect is designed to help use those effects in a 32-bit environment. So I'm gonna drag HDR Compander out, and this effect works in a very specific way. We're actually going to need two instances of it, and we're going to put any effects that don't support 32 bits per channel between the two instances. So first, let's grab an effect that doesn't support 32 bits per channel. How about going into the stylized category, and I can tell very quickly which effects don't support it because they have an 8, 32, or 16 little icon next to their names. These are the maximum bit depths that are supported for those effects. It doesn't mean you can't use them, it just means that they might produce results that you're not that happy with. So if I brought out Find Edges, this only works in 8 bits per channel, and I get this little warning right here that tells me this effect only supports 8 bits per channel color. Using this effect in a 32-bit per channel project may reduce color precision and may remove any high dynamic range values. That wouldn't be good if you're actually trying to take advantage of those high dynamic range values. So let me just turn Blend with Original up and then turn that off and back on. And sure enough, even though Find Edges isn't doing anything, looking at my Lumetri Scopes panel and set to the waveform RGB view, it is definitely messing with the very brightest and the very darkest pixels. So to apply this effect without messing with the actual HDR information too much, we're gonna use two copies of this HDR Compander. Compander is a combination of two words, compressor and expander. The way that it works is first, we're going to take this 32 bits per channel HDR image and compress it with the mode of set to compress range down to eight bits per channel. And I'm just gonna turn off find edges for now because by default, this isn't doing anything. I have to set the gain and the gamma for this image to be compressed too. So if I grab my gain slider and I increase it, I'm just gonna do this until I get most of those clipped brightness values in the standard eight bit range on the right side here until most of those highlights are contained within that range. I don't wanna to go too high because that's not going to give me very good results. But if I just bring this down maybe about to a value of around 10, that's gonna give me a lot of those highlights back and we should be able to work with it. Next is the gamma value. So I can use this to bring in some of those darks a little bit to get something that is a little bit more washed out but contains more of that shadow information that we looked at just using the comp exposure. So we've drastically changed the contrast of our image, but now if I apply this find edges, you can see that it's not really making a difference to our values because most of our values aren't clipped anymore. So I could turn this blend with original down. This isn't necessarily something I would ever do, but it's not messing with those HDR results anymore. So let me turn blend with original back up. And the next thing we need to do is duplicate HDR compander. So just controller command D and drag it after find edges, keeping the gain and gamma the exact same values, and then changing the mode from compress range to expand range. So first we're compressing our range to fit an 8-bit depth workspace, applying our non-32 bits per channel effects, and then expanding that range back out to 32 bits per channel. Now if I turn my effects completely off and back on, there is just the slightest difference visible in my waveform. You really can't tell in the comp viewer that anything has changed. So that's working exactly the way that it's supposed to. Granted, fine edges, I'm not even doing anything with it right now. I could turn that all the way back on and we're gonna be throwing away tons of the color data anyway. But if I were to get a different effect, so I'll get rid of find edges and we'll go into say the generate category and a checkerboard is eight bits per channel. I'll apply that right between the two instances and maybe make that checkerboard much bigger and then change the blend mode from none to say overlay. This is going to look very different if I turn off the HDR compander effects. So this is the eight bits per channel 
effect applied on top of a 32 bits per channel image and blended with the overlay mode, which looks drastically different than if I were to first compress and then expand that HDRI image before and after the checkerboard is applied. So it really does make a difference and this is a very smart way to work. And there's even a preset for making this go even quicker. So let me delete those two effects and I'm just gonna search for compress and right there, compress, expand, dynamic range. And I'll apply that to my footage. It applies two copies of the HDR Compander effect, sets the modes properly, and links the gain and gamma of the expand to the compress instance. So I'll just move that above checkerboard, turn off the second two effects for a second, just so I can again set my gain so we get more of those highlights and bring up the gamma a bit. Those values are automatically linked to expand. I'll enable the other two effects and we're right back where we were. And now because these two are linked with expressions, I can very easily mess with the gain and the gamma and interactively see how that affects the way that the eight bits per channel effects are applied. It's a pretty unique use case effect, but that's everything you need to know about HDR Compander. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, then check out the other ones here on my YouTube channel. And if you like my teaching style, then definitely check out my longer form content on Skillshare and School of Motion. And if you wanna support more tutorials like this one, check out my Patreon. You can find links for all that stuff in the description of this video.